Jesus a lot of countries over six rounds official for this belt. We have Judge One, Clement Sean, Judge Two, Richard Amavi, and Judge Three, David Nios. Now, introducing the boxer from the blue corner, and this is spotted in black, you know, red trunks with blue gloves and the black shoe to match. Is the man with a weight of 137 pounds, the man who was born and bred in Shukura here in Accra, with official record of a tough fight, three defeat, nine wins, and all the nine wins came by way of not out, presenting to you, the boxer, Senator. <laughs> Now switching over to the blue corner, and this is one of the boxers who has been penciled down as one of the prospect, one of the potential world beaters from the seconds out boxing gymnasium. With a weight of 141 pounds, tonight sported in white and light blue trunks with black and white shoe and red gloves to match. This is the man with the official record of three fights, no defeat, no draw, two wins. Presenting to you the man who has fought 30 rounds of boxing at the moment as a professional boxer from the Seconds Art Boxing Gymnasium, owned by the former GBA president. Presenting to you the boxer, Gary. And the man in charge of this fight is Nathaniel Obey. Okay, gentlemen, I expect a clear fight. Obey my instructions and defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. His opponent from Wisdom Boxing Gym is Senator Agbenyo. Wow! last fought in March, on March 15th, and the Gamashi Hall of the Bukum Boxing Arena again, the Dilkwe. That fight was a rematch, and uh, the first fight was a draw. And Barry came out the winner in the rematch. He has recently signed a new management deal and will look to make good. Yeah. He looks very promising, uh, Kui. Had a close chit chat with him on the uh, way in day. Uh, and it looks like uh, he sounds business-like, he knows what he's about, and he believes that sooner rather than later, we should see him in the limelight. My only problem with Quay is that he has a lot of problems making weight. He's, he fights as the super lightweight level, around 40 pounds, but in between fights, he, he's able to bloat up to about 60 pounds. Wow. Tries to go in there, trying to catch Senator with those strong shots of his one to the head, one to the body, legs on the body, and then gets the head, takes him on the chin. Senator is still on his feet, and left me. Believe that Senator cannot continue with the fight. Is it, a, is it a right decision? I thought that the referee came in too early to stop the bout. I'll find out from Derek in a minute. But uh, I find out I beg your pardon from Sam and I go in a minute. But, and you can see the reaction from the corner of the uh, senator. What do you make of referees coming in to stop the fight? Did he really look like he was under some, some pressure, some trouble? Uh, he looked very, he was uh, a bit wobbled, but he looked very, but then, uh, he was not answering by the punches. He was trying to come up. But um, I, I will not blame the referee, but I believe that the stoppage is a big one, being that in the first round. Um, but then, um, obviously, the referees are there to protect, protect the boxes. And so, we'll give the referee that of them and benefit from the doubt. But obviously, there was an early stoppage. Difficult at this stage to say what match of being so that wanted him to go in and uh, stop the bout. Night 
Yes, number 16 was because I saw Abanyo was not going back. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we put our hands together for the boxes once again? Now, the verdict that we have here in round number one, one minute, 20 seconds by a technical knockout. The winner presenting to you the boxer from the Circus Art Boxing Gymnasium. And tonight, it looks like he's been supported by one of the finest boxing trainers Ghana has ever produced. The man who trained the likes of Ike Basuka Kote, the likes of Bukum Banku, and the man we call Coach Wuto from the Bukum Boxing Gymnasium, presenting to you the winner. <laughs> Now, it's 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 winner, it's before, it's before I talk to the boxer, now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this man is such a wonderful personality. He has served boxing in his whole life, but I can tell you that he has never reaped the dividends. From the Bukum Boxing Gymnasium, this is the man who trained the likes of Ai Basuka Kote, the former world champion, the likes of Bukom Banku and Co. Coach Wuto, Bukom Chachu and Co. Coach, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Coach, it's good to see you. Thank you. Coach, how are you? I'm fine. Why? Now, Coach, how do you feel seeing people watching boxing here at the Bukom Boxing Arena? I'm really excited. Very good. Very good. Yeah. So, are you happy with your boy tonight? Anyway, halfway. Halfway. I saw you tell him something before the fight. What did you tell him? He should hit the stomach. Oh, really? He should hit the stomach. Did he hit the stomach? He hit the stomach. He hit the stomach. Congratulations once again. Okay, thank you. Ghana Boxing Authority will get back to you. We'll make you happy and we'll make sure that what you have done for Mother Ghana, Ghana will acknowledge and give you all the needed support. Shall we put our hands together for this man? Thank you very much, Coach. God bless you. Now, Derek, Pete. Okay. <laughs> Mokumi, <laughs> president <laughs> President tells me if I go, I'm going to come up and be a Okay, thank you very much. Derek, finally, me no back out. Me da mo fi a mo street in for the sofa, me da mo shi. Me to off your fight in the national title. Mo belle. Thank you very much. So that is it. And this is the way we can revive boxing, ignite the passion of boxing fans and all that. So he has mentioned the name of one of the most important personality in Ghana sports. Who has crossed over from football to boxing? Mr. Isaac Tetter of Titi Brothers. You're welcome to the Book and Boxing Arena. We appreciate you. The boxer says that he wants you to organize a national title for them. So, very well. Thank you very much.